Hey, it's Devin here from Absolute Injury Management, Gippsland's Exercise and Sports Medicine Centre, and in today's video, we're talking about the old bung mallet finger, so stick around. So the finger injury we're talking about in the video today is what we call a mallet finger injury, and that's a common injury that we see where a sporting ball will hit the tip of the finger, and it will bust the tendon that runs up the back of the finger, or possibly take a little chip of bone away, which results in the finger looking like that so that's why it's called a mallet finger it looks like a mallet or a hammer so what we need to do is we need something that's going to keep that joint straight but we don't want to keep the whole finger straight because we don't need to do anything around this joint down here or in the big knuckle so it's really just the tip of the finger so what we use is we use a little device called a stack splint it's fairly short slips onto the finger and it will block any movement at that specific joint, that very tip of the finger joint. But what it does allow me to do is it allows me to bend at the other finger joint so I don't lose too much function, they don't get stiff because I don't need to splint them, I just need to splint the one at the top. So it is important that you do splint mallet finger injuries, otherwise often you can end up with a permanent deformity in that finger. It's not really functional if you've got the tip of the finger hanging over the lot. It's definitely going to get in the way. So you need to make sure you manage them right from the start. If you have any questions about mallet finger injuries or you do have a mallet finger, make sure you comment below and we can help you out. Otherwise, we'll catch you for next week's video. See you guys.